A lot of times a primary care doctor will send to a gastroenterologist uh, or maybe they'll do a colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy themselves and that's after the patients present with some sort of a symptom like rectal bleeding is the most common ones. They'll then be found to have a cancer. It'll be diagnosed by usually a gastroenterologist who will then send to the team and the team will include some combination of the surgeon, the medical oncologist and the radiation oncologist. One of the advantages of radiation is we can actually treat the areas uh, that's microscopic cancers we can't detect. So treat the areas that we know are at risk because the normal cells can tolerate some of that radiation. And so if we can target areas that we know where the cancer tends to spread to, then we can just target those areas as well. By treating with more precision and treating what we need but not anything more than we need, which comes out a combination of kind of the art and the science together and then combined with the technology, we're able to get better tumor control rates uh, with, uh, with less toxicity of normal tissue.